I'm Sarah Thompson and welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm here with Pat and Solomon Thurman to talk about the happenings at 10th Street Gallery. And there are some happenings. There's a new exhibit that's going on. Tell me about it. Well, the new exhibit we're having is the artist we're featuring is Abraham Lincoln Walker, who is an East St. Louis artist who passed away some 20 years ago. His work uh, we're having begins tomorrow the 25th of September and it lasts until November 8th. So his work uh, is going to be at 10th Street Gallery, which is right at 10th Street, one block south of 10th and Washington. And I heard you refer to him as Al Walker. Tell me a bit about his work. What style um, would you classify his work as an artist? Well, uh, Abraham Lincoln Walker is a self-taught artist, so he was inspired by many styles. But I believe that the majority of his styles sort of uh, goes with what I consider abstract expressionism okay. and some cubistic work. So if you look at his work, you could see perhaps three different styles. I could see it as stylized real realism. Here you would see cubistic st influences mm -hmm. there. <clears throat> but primarily, he was an experimental artist who worked primarily from his own, own inspiration. See, White might be considered a reclusive artist in the sense that he did not exhibit publicly. Okay. Most of his work was generated at his home and he just collected it at, as over the years have passed. So as part of the mission and the goal of the gallery to exhibit work of historically local artists or African American artists, or is there anything when you're curating or thinking about the shows that you're, the exhibitions that you're going to have, what comes to mind when you want to reflect the gallery? Well, primarily the work has to go through uh, the executive director, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> She curates all the shows. I've been involved in uh, art since the 60s, and from that time, I have come in contact with hundreds of artists, and that protects me from my friends who want to exhibit in the gallery that we own. So there's, just, there, is, there is a process. Pat, tell me about some of the, the process of how you, when you sit down and you think about the shows, the, the, exhi the exhibits that you want to have, what, what are you thinking about? Well, we were very fortunate because Solomon belongs to several artist organizations. We are part of the Friends of African American Art at the St. Louis Art Museum, and a lot of our friends are artists, so I had a huge pool to pull from. But we, we look at African American artists, we look at uh, emerging artists, we look at, we even had one of our uh, artist friends uh, from France, Paris, uh, Manuel Hughes, we did a show for him as well. So we're, we consider ourselves very multicultural. No, that's wonderful. And tell mm. me about this sort of coalition or grouping you've sort of come together with, with other African American owned galleries here in St. Louis and the St. Louis well, area. Uh, thanks to Frida Wheaton, who is uh, re a retired attorney from a city. She brought together seven, eight gallery organizations and formed what we call the Alliance of Black Art Galleries. And I, I have the names in front of me, so I'm going to call yeah, them sure. off. Salon 53, uh, Portfolio Gallery, Lois Ingram Gallery, Carlton Mitchell, Yayo Arts, Bent, uh, uh, ben Till Gallery and 14th Street Community Gallery. And it's all about collaboration. We want to uh, make a statement here in St. Louis and just start to work together to maybe do group exhibits and be vocal about supporting each other uh, publicly. How would you describe the base of people who come to 10th Street Gallery or the other African American galleries here in St. Louis? I mean, is it an active, thriving base of people who are interested in fine arts, visual arts, or how would you describe uh, that that scene. Well, I think each individual gallery has its own pool mm. of people. Uh, a lot depends on location and also the network in which you're a member of. We happen to be downtown in downtown St. Louis, so a lot of the influence that we have are some of the people who actually live, residents who live in downtown St. Louis, but also I would think a third of our business come from out of town since we're only two blocks from the St. Louis Convention Center, and that helps a, a lot in itself. We also rent out the gallery, you know, and rent a gallery space, so we come in contact with people who are interested in doing weddings there, things sure. like uh, birthday parties, uh, uh, 
companies who want to have uh, company meetings there, some off-site meetings and so that type of thing. So you get a nice uh, a nice mix of people there. Yes, yeah. exactly. Well, we want to be sure to plug the information. It's right there on your screen. It's the 10th Street Gallery. They have Abraham Lincoln Walker, a body of work. It's September 25th through November 9th. A really wonderful exhibition you should check out. Go to their website if you want to get their uh, hours of when they're open. It's 10thstreetgallery.com. You can call the number on your screen. It's 314 436-1806 and we'll have to uh, have you back when you plan your, <laughs> now I'm curious what the next one is. I don't want to jump ahead though, but I appreciate you being okay. here today and we'll Thank definitely you. have to have you back when we've got the ne next exhibition. Thanks, Sarah. But Thank yes, you. but for now, if you're watching, you got to go check out the one that's there. And next on STL TV Live, we'll meet an area professor and rabbi turned fiction author. Mark Leslie Shook will be here after this break.